What's up everybody? Well, figured I'd do a really, really quick video showing you what kind of benchmarks this computer can get. So, first things first, this is what it got bone stock the day I got it for Time Spy. And this is what we get with Time Spy now, at least hooked up to a TV. And then that's Time Spy just on the computer itself, not hooked up to a monitor. Moving on to Fire Strike. This is what I got bone stock the day I got the laptop without even the upgraded RAM. Hopefully you guys can read all that. I put the scaling up pretty, pretty high. Here's what it got with the upgraded memory. And I'll leave all these uh, 3D marks in the link or in the uh, description so you guys can compare with your laptops or your uh, version of this laptop as well. And then if we move on one over here, this is what it got hooked up to the TV, which is quite a jump, quite a jump indeed. But all right, let's move on to the next benchmark. All right, this is the last benchmark I have to compare the old RAM versus the new RAM or anything like that. But bone stock, I got 1476 with 700 or 7,454 multi with the new ram it got 1544 single and 8754 multi so that's quite the leap just from a simple outlet ram upgrade and it's nice to know that many of you are just getting good ram right off the bat so you don't even have to waste ram like i did or waste money on ram like i did now let's just move on to some benchmarks that i just ran that are just new ram everything just to see what it could do here's what the laptop got in cinebench R20. I really wish that I did the Cinebenches with the stock RAM too, but unfortunately I just did it with the upgraded RAM, so forgive me, but figured some got people would want to know what it gets, so here's what it gets with the new RAM. Alrighty. This has got what it got in Cinebench R23, 13,590 for multi and 1,409 for single. Again, this is with the already upgraded RAM. I did not do this benchmark with the stock RAM, unfortunately. Wish I did so we could compare it. I wasn't thinking hard enough about stuff like that back then. Now I'm trying to think about every little thing I can turn into a video that you guys would like to know about. So let's move on to the next one. Alrighty. This is a benchmark called Passmark, and this is what it got. A total of 5,049.7. CPU, it got 25,173.3. 2D, it got 543.7. 3D, it got 4811.7. Memory, 3008.1. And disk mark, 15,019.5. So now move on to another benchmark. Okay, this is what we got in IDA memory benchmark. These are way too many numbers for me to be reading them off one by one, so I'm just going to kind of... Let the camera sit here for a couple of seconds so you guys can read them yourselves. And if I still go and move on to the next benchmark a little too quick, you can always just pause. I know not everybody reads at the exact same speed. In fact, I'm pretty freaking quick at reading from all the anime I watch. You have to get really quick at reading subtitles and paying attention to the action. Anyway, hopefully that's long enough for you guys to have read all of the important stuff. If not, just give it a pause. We're going to move on to the next one. Alrighty, and to finish this up, I'm just going to run over the last couple benchmarks we have here. Uh, Fire Strike Ultra, just on the laptop itself. We got 7,992. And then if we move over here, this is what we got with it hooked up to my TV. So you definitely do get a little bit more performance when you're hooked up to an external monitor. That is 100% proven. But lack of the MUX switch will do that. Still wish they would have just put that in. It would have literally been the perfect laptop. Anyway, let's move on to the next one. All right, here's Fire Strike Extreme. We got 14,934 just on the actual laptop. A couple seconds for you guys to read the graphics score, physics score, and all that stuff. All righty, now if we move over here to off screen on my TV when I ran the benchmark, we got 15,336. So again, a definite improvement when we're hooked up to an external monitor. All right, let's move on to the last few. All right, to finish up, I ran this new weird CPU profile benchmark that was in 3D Mark. Never saw this before. It must be kind of new. So one thread, we got 906. Two threads, 1773. Four threads, 3465. Eight threads, 5783. 16 threads, 7267. And max threads are, again, the same because that's 16 threads is all we have. We can't go any higher than that. So, alrighty. I would say that does a pretty good job of uh, showing what this laptop can do, at least in the benchmark department. So, I'm going to end this video here. If there's any other benchmarks that anybody else wants me to run that I haven't done here and that I might not even know about, just let me know and I'll run them. But, till the next video, peace out, guys.